it was very hectic but then it was like always it was a good experience uh, it teaches you about learning to cope with uh, a lot of pressures by the end of the day especially some of the days that you'd have a whole day's lecture I was feeling like I'm broken into pieces so it was not easy yeah straining through the whole day and still you had assignments well uh, for the last few days i have i mean like uh, more than five or six assignments but uh, huge ones and with the examination with uh, with two exams because it's my first um like uni exams i'm not quite sure how to cope with it and but then now i know what to expect out of um uni exams and yeah so i tried three exams and two of them i feel like i like i walked in there saw the questions knew what i was talking about thanks to study and my lecturer's help and my tutor's help and all that you know when 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 uh, when you are put under a lot of pressure then you start feeling what am i going to do you start feeling so lost and then you start then you you have to calm yourself you have to say it's okay reflections and real experiences my story on how i how difficult it was and how i managed to move on you know how i managed to get through this it should inspire them and feel that okay she did it why can't we the end of last semester was um you know, we were all up in arms in a bit of a rush assignments are falling due um you know for our first experience of uni it was very exciting because um i i completed my first semester very uh, you can say in a very relaxed mode because i divided everything systematically that uh, i set deadlines for myself and i was doing accordingly so it was not very hectic and uh, very stressful um big rush to finish all the last assignments and study up for exams it's a pretty intense time but um yeah you sort of get a bit disconnected from people as well because everyone's sort of concentrating on on what they're doing with their schoolwork and stuff it's fine though because everyone understands it's not like you're ignoring people uh now i'm feel, uh, i'm feeling really happy to talk about that time but it was really tough time i mean in the end of uh, the first semester i was very busy with the exams assignments and sub lib uh, some laboratory work but yeah in the end it turned out really good it was it was good although now there was a lot of assignments preparation for exams and all that yeah it was quite hectic <laughs> no jokes and um, i should say it was Well, it like it, the semester was it was so hectic you know that uh, the three month period was the most uh busy period uh it's like you have to submit assignments and sometimes the due dates of uh, about two assignments came together in same week and it was and it's not about writing 100 or 200 words like it's about you know how it is right uh, it's about writing about 5000 words um i had one assignment due just before like exams started and then i had three exams so yeah um i had a i think a 2000 word essay and um an accounting assignment where we pretended to do the books for a toy retailer um and they went reasonably well um um i was pretty lucky i had a few friends who had assignments due in that same week but all my assignments finished a couple of weeks before so i could just really focus on my exams yeah we do have all the assignments were uh, we had we had to submit uh, submit at the end of the semester but uh, the good thing was that uh, we were planning from the first day for those assignments and um, thanks to our teachers as well because uh, they were um, 
uh, guiding us from the first day towards that assignment, so everything went very well. And there was a lot to, that was required of us, and time was limited. In the last about three weeks, I think I had, I had four assignments, one for each unit. One of them was really big because I didn't have an exam for that unit, so it was worth like 40%, I think. I did, you know, in all honesty, I, I do get stressed, we all do, but I just found ways to manage it in terms of going out and going for a run or doing a bit of exercise, um, taking time out, then heading back into it with a fresh mind. It was a health crisis, okay, because I remember you could not even concentrate in class. I was always feeling like sleeping, sleeping. Yeah, I asked the doctor and, uh, okay, I did some lab tests, I did some, because the problem was the thyroid swelling. They saw some swelling in the thyroid, so probably that was what was affecting and um, uh, as uh, as you know, it, uh, the last month, I mean, it was a fasting fasting month for Muslims. It was Ramadan, and I was basically fasting, uh, you know, the whole month. And besides that, I was doing an intensive course, intensive unit, and you know, studying all day without food and you know, <laughs> sleepless night. So it was hard, but uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> I you know when I study, I divide this time. I don't sit down and study throughout, like I, I, I study for 30 minutes, take a little break, and then again, and study, and that really helps. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. At, at the end, by the end of the semester, I'd sort of figured out the, the rhythm of, of studying for assignments and getting them done, so you get like your initial draft done a couple of weeks prior, and then you sort of build up from that until like you've got a week left and you've finished it, but you're going to keep rereading it and editing it and stuff. So yeah, I, I did, it was a lot easier than the first few assignments in terms of like time management, but it was a lot harder subject, like stuff to write. As a Buddhist, uh, I keep doing meditation every morning. No, and then I should say that meditation really helps you to cope up with pressure, academic, be it academic pressure, be it any kind of stress, I try to tame my mind, I try to keep calm, I'm not always successful in that, but it really helps.